All right, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Good morning. I think right now it's now it's 6 a.m. So I actually woke up, you know, a little later than I normally would, around 7.30 a.m. It's getting still pretty hard to do a silent prayer because, you know, my Satan and my thoughts really don't want me to be present with God. So, because as JLP says, the ego doesn't want to die. He's totally right, man. It, it, it's pretty nutty. It's pretty nutty. But, you know, whatever. You know, I'll, God will get rid of the stupid ego or at, at least get rid of most of it, uh, you know, whenever it happens. So anyway, I was thinking I might do three videos today, but because uh, I, I think I could say your name. What was your name again? Uh, notifications. Uh, Dan Fan. I'll just call you Dan Fan. It looks like you're also a fan of soccer, so that probably means uh, you have a better taste in sports than us dumbass Americans do. <laughs> or maybe you are American and then you just also happen to like soccer, which is actually very rare. But believe it or not, I wouldn't mind actually watching soccer sometimes. It's just not very popular here at all, so it's like kind of a pain in the ass to watch soccer games here in America. So, wait, this is my crow. So, yeah, anyway, and before I start, I actually just got a DM from Pritchard Financial, so... Uh, whatchamacallit? So we were talking, I kind of want... They actually suggested we wanted to, if I wanted to do an interview. The thing is, I don't normally do something like that. So I don't really feel I'm quite ready for that yet, but I definitely am somewhat interested in that. So I told him, you know, well, we could try setting something up sometime down the line, all right? Because right now I just have a little bit too much going on, so I kind of want to just take things a little slower. But I definitely like the idea of doing some kind of interview. But, you know, I think I kind of want to wait till my channel's a little bit bigger, too. So, and that's what I also told him as well, so... It was actually uh, pretty cool. You know, I kind of like, you know, where things are going with this YouTube channel, right? And you know, things will only get better. So hopefully I don't get cucked on the monetization because then I would have to create a new channel and then, you know, put all the new content there. That's just going to be a real problem for me. I don't know. I, I, I'll worry about it later. All right. So anyway, uh, so we have, so now I have two Titanium forks that I'll cover today. It's really, well, really more like Seifu style Titanium forks, you know, so... All right, so this site actually was in the Elite Discord last night because this project literally launched last night, right? Uh, or sometime yesterday afternoon, right? It's essentially stealth launched. Uh, and of course, normally I don't do new projects, but I think this is, was pretty well vetted, and so, and so was everything else. So one thing I have to look for is their liquidity lock, but I'm pretty sure I saw it mentioned somewhere here. Because yes, because right now Seifu itself is actually getting a lot of problems because, you know, Certic is uh, cucking them like crazy. You know, exposing all these problems about Seifu, right? You know, uh, scammy dev, right? So that's their, that's their accusation. Uh, and then their burn address is actually not a real burn address. It's actually like a wallet that you can have control of. So technically it could still be a burn wallet and they just deleted the keys, but... You just send it to a dead address, you know, that's really a better way of doing it, right? Because that's definitely guaranteed to, you know, be, like, I think that's like a function that Ethereum created long ago, right? Just create a deliberate burn address for, you know, new projects to be, you know, build trust and stuff. It's like, hey, we have a real burn address. Just send it to this 000 dead address thing, whatever it is, right? Oh, uh, 0x000 blah, blah, blah. So, uh, auto, uh, or I call it auto, even though it's auto, right? Because it doesn't have two T's. I just call it auto because it just is easier. And they actually counter signaled Seifu and said, yeah, uh, you know, we don't have that. We use a real burn address, you know? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. They didn't, they didn't do, they didn't counter signal that much, but I did retweet it because they, because someone in the elite Discord posted this too. Unfortunate news for Seifu. But from the start, burn tokens go to dead addresses. That's why we're here at Otto's Cauldron is set to the actual dead address. No one in our team has access to a large amount of tokens. And this is the sort of audit uh, tweet. You know. Uh, wow, they hate like, oh, man, jeez. Uh, <laughs> wow, they actually have a pretty big thread against uh, Certic, or uh, Seifu. 
such as the terminate engagement, refund the fees, and inform the community. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, did they do all this and then like yoink all of Seifu's money? Like that's kind of like yeah, I get that they have to watch out for people, but I think that's still kind of mean to like just steal everyone's money, you know? So so that's good that Serdic actually refunded something. I mean, I can't imagine they refunded all the money, right? I mean, if they did, that's pretty nutty. Uh, we're burning 10,000 more tokens, but what I'm really looking for here is, where did I read that the liquidity pool was locked? It might have been in, uh, yeah, 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 did, 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 did. okay, slippage 20%, protocol is live, okay, well, I, I, they have a, you know, good amount of followers, so, okay. Farming as a service, auto sale, auto compile, pro call, auto avalanche network, uh, automatic saying receive airdrops. Okay. So, provides a decentralized financial asset where we're just. Okay, where. Maybe I could type in the word lock. Oh, okay. I know I read it somewhere, so maybe it was under the. the oh, I thought I had the window open. Uh, roadmap tokenomics. Where is the documentation page? I, oh, it's over here. Okay. Uh, oh, I'll leave that there. Okay. All right, because here I'm going to be more. Let me see. Block. Oh. Uh. Oh, maybe I saw it in the pink sale page. In order to qualify for this, you had to have Nodak. So that's good that those guys are still around. Mm. No DAC or no deck? Yeah, I think they might have even misspelled them or something. But I know I did the like when I started changing to the new YouTube format. I did Nodak a long time ago, but it's supposed to be no deck with an E, not an A. Hmm, Maybe it's a different project. Okay. Oh, I gotta sign into my little thing here. Uh, pink cell finance. Oh uh, yeah, this is on Binance Smart Chain. You know, every time I do these Titano Seifu fork things, I should probably remember to put the uh, the blockchain that it's on. I for some reason I always forget to do that on on you know uh, Titano Seifu forks. Okay, so this is where I got the LP lock time. So according to this, the liquidity is locked for about 15 years, and that's the date. So, yeah, so I think the total amount locked. Total amount locked. Wait, what? Does that make sense? Oh, they don't lock that much. What the? Okay. Tokens for pre sale. Hmm. Alright, so. Uh, no deck. Okay, what is this on? Okay, so this is on AVAX. I kept thinking it was on Binance Smart Chain because my MetaMask was going, whatever. Okay, so. Let me see. Where can I find lock around here? There's pre sale. I mean, this thing says liquidity will be locked for 15 years versus uh, with pink lock, which cannot be touched or released early. This means that you, as a token holder, will always have the freedom to buy some of that share economy. Your token that, are, that you buy are yours. It will remain your wall always and are never locked. Uh, well, that's the thing. But this is the actual liquidity pool. But is this locked for 15 years? I mean, I guess so. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think, I don't know, because it said that it, locked, it didn't lock that much, but uh, I don't know. Maybe someone might have to actually take a look into this. All right. So, anyway, if you go to the dashboard, let me see if it works on my end. No, it still doesn't work on Brave. Uh, for some reason, the calculator doesn't work for me, but the dashboard and the account does actually work. And then, you know, I guess you can do the other stuff, too. 
Uh, but, you know, it doesn't... Uh, uh, this was working for me, but... Uh, I guess maybe because I'm on Brave. And it has a mark... So the UI could obviously use some work because it's actually kind of, like, a little messed up, too. So that's the only crappy thing about this. All right, the website could... The dashboard, specifically, could use some more work. But other than that, you know, it's just your typical Seifu fork. All right, you know, uh, you just get free money every 15 minutes. And it does say here you receive airdrops from the treasury yields every month. So I'm kind of curious to see <clears throat> what the airdrop stuff is going to be. Because it should be pretty easy for them to go, okay, take a snapshot. Everybody who had auto in their account bought and then divide then their algorithm, then their mathematical formula, like, you know, distributes the rewards. Give everybody their appropriate I don't know, uh, Joe tokens or whatever they're going to invest in the treasury in. So basically 380. I'm going to write, let me see. Well, I have to write out the whole digits anyway. So I'll just write, yeah, so I'll write out the whole thing. It's basically 383K a year. I was going to like throw my computer out the window if I forgot to hit the record button. And so, uh, hey, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Then you got that. Let me see. Auto Vault serves as the insurance fund for price stability. D -d 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 -d. Auto compounding, of course. There's the auto token. Uh, auto treasury. Okay, so 2.5%. So just like Seifu, everything that it gets traded gets sent to the burn address. Again, this is what I'm very interested in. The monthly airdrops distributed to auto token holders from the proceeds of the auto treasury investment uh, ventures. So, hmm. Look at their roadmap here. Okay, and then they want to go cross-chain eventually, so that's always a good thing, right? Because Paper Financial is doing better than a lot of our tomb forks, with the exception of Code 7, right? That's because Code 7 is an actual... At least they say so far they're actually like doing a do gonna do real life real estate. Alright. So here, if you're gonna stay digital, obviously you wanna reinvest your treasury, which is why I like Libero so much. Alright. It's actually still under a little pressure right now too, uh, surprisingly. Let's see. What am I looking for? I'm looking for well, we could probably close that. Yeah, this thing, uh, I don't know, I'm a little confused about the LP lock for 15 years, so, I don't know, I, I guess we'll, I guess I'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's see, auto token, no, I need, no, that's the burn. Trade your liquidity, 100k, initial supply, 325k. Uh, let's see, oh yeah, and the taxes are... See, they 14, 16, right? Yeah, like they said, 14, 16. So there's that two contracts, fundamentals. Yeah. Ah, God. They, I don't really feel like going to their Discord. I'm going to assume for now that they're somewhat of a small team for sure. But anyway, when we got info on it last night, so, I don't know, I think we might have bought maybe around here. Yeah, this seems, yeah, this is a 15 minute chart. So I know I bought somewhere, actually no, we bought around here. Because I remember spending like two, no, we bought right here. We bought right at the launch, actually. So I bought at like $2.50 along with everyone else in Elite Discord. And then basically had to go to bed, right, essentially. Or give it a little bit of time to like... Could be a uh, rug pull scam. So I bought two dollars and fifty, and I bought a little more last night at a higher price, obviously like around four dollars or four fifty. I think it was around four four dollars. Oh, just a little extra, and then and then that's it. Because I think the way to play these Seifu forks is to not actually believe it or not, just put a little bit of money in these. Because remember, after after the APY drops after a year, I mean, I honestly think it's gonna tank. Right, it's definitely not really going to go up. So, and then I'm not going to wait the whole year. I'm going to wait like 10, 11 months. Right, so that's why I'm going to be looking at the thing. But until then, right, you're gaining, you know, whatever this ridiculous APY is. So it doesn't really take that much money. I mean, we need to go on a website where the calculator works for me. But basically, for like my case, I put in like, I guess on average, well, I put in a total of 
four hundred and fifty dollars in. So on average, my price should be somewhere around three twenty five. Right, so my 450 with this after like 10 months is going to be worth like a couple, like several hundred thousand dollars, I think. So, you know, and even despite all the, pro oh yeah, I, this is pr uh, brave. Even despite all the problems with safe food, I think that thing is still worth a lot of money. Now, I think it might be worth a lot less money once uh, <laughs> this certic cucking is over. Yeah, right now it's at but, I mean, right now, everyone is exiting Seifu, right? So, they're looking for, like, another Seifu that actually is safe as an alternative. So, that's why you're seeing all these Seifu forks blowing up. Ring Finance, Auto, no, Auto, which is this. And the next one I'm going to cover, which is New Order Finance, right? It's really New World Order Finance, right? But, uh, <laughs> you know, funny little play on, um, on the NWO. So, anyway, it looks all right. I mean, I just realized... I mean, assuming this is true, I actually completely forgot. Because right now I'm spazzing out. It's like, I really don't really feel like doing videos today, but I have, I don't want my content queue to get too large. And I do know that a lot of you really are hungry for this stuff, so that's also another reason why. I'm, so I'm trying to get you, you know, stuff on time. Because I haven't even exercised yet, so... Uh, but, yeah, that's just how it goes. All right, so... Okay... All right, so all right, so they do have a reasonable team, right? So that means this Alex person, Alex person. I don't know why they put a woman's icon here. Alex is a. I don't know. I generally never met a woman who would just named herself Alex. It's usually Alexa, right? You put the A in there. Well, anyway, hopefully uh, she you know works on the white paper or whatever. All right, but other than that, pretty small team, but at least it's better than like one or two people, right? So, it looks like they have two programmers. They have their marketing guy. They have the mods for Discord and Twitter, probably. This person works on the website and everything. And, of course, this, so, yeah. And then, they, then Vanellope works on the graphics. So, all right. Works for me. Works for me. Another thing that I want to talk about before I sign off is there is a problem with stealth launching. On the one hand, yes, you don't uh, you don't have to deal with like super predators right who will buy up everything and then dump on your project and then you know you then that's kind of reason why titan was always under so much pressure initially but the flip side to that is you have slow selling pressure over time because nobody knows about your project that's exactly why caesar finance is having problems right now now the good news is you know they've been working pretty hard to you know address that problem they said they just got a new Twitter person, so I see they're more active again. So they're wrapping up their marketing. The problem is they've just been working so hard on the new website design and all that other stuff. So it's like, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, you know, Caesar should pan out fairly decently. So, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see how that goes. And I think today is a down day in the markets, too, because, you know, we've had like, we've had like what? Out of the seven, like Greg Manorino says, out of the seven trading days that we've had like five or six of them were straight up for the market so it has the market has to give back so that could be today uh and yeah i mean uh, i mean we'll see what caesar does and of course sphere finance so far my best play uh so i could technically lose everything but as long as i have sphere finance it'll do well right let's see i see things across the board doing pretty well this is very ironic like there's no reason why everything should be going up in crypto but you know what i don't really care all right money is money and let's see there was another project i want to mention because right now i'm on my chrome looking at my projects here hmm yeah titano is trying to push 20 cents again yeah titano is going crazy you know i can't really remember so whatever Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. I think that's pretty much uh, all the cover. There, that is a nice thing about covering Titan or Seifu forks. There's not really much for me to do, so I can generally keep the videos shorter. Simply uh, as long as I don't. <laughs> I mean, I rambled quite a bit here, but that's because my mind is like all over the place. So anyway, check out uh, Auto Protocol. Uh, I don't think they have any audits and stuff, so. You know, there could be a risk of a rug pull. Like, I'm a little confused about the 15-year lock liquidity pull because I am I saw different things. But, I don't know. Everyone seemed pretty confident. Everyone's got no problem following them and 
pushing this project too, so I assume that they probably have done the research. But as always, just be careful, you know, just, just, uh, you know, what do we got here? Uh, no deck. I don't know, which one is which, man? Or maybe did, 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 did they like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, they got me a different project, right? And they were very, I don't know, something happened, because I, oh, I also, eh, I know we got to end the video, but I actually had to unfollow a lot of people, because for some reason, a lot of people I used to follow all turned into, like, these weird hacked cryptocurrency accounts. I was like, I have no relation to any of these, right? And then I thought they didn't follow me back anyway, so I don't know what actually happened to a lot of people. So, I don't know. I, I guess that's what happens. Anyway, check out uh, Auto Protocol, or I almost call it Auto Finance. Everyone in the Elite Discord is very happy about this project. I'm very, uh, I'm quite happy about it. Right, this is basically my best Seifu fork play so far. And, oh, and thanks again to Dan, man, for suggesting the project to me on my Twitter. So, again, if you got projects, you can leave it on, you can leave it on my YouTube comments. I might be able to see it, but I generally would prefer uh, Twitter instead, all right? Because at least there you'll be able to put links and stuff, and I could, and it's easier for me. Uh, I don't know. I just generally like it better if you just tell me the project on Twitter because I do read that. At some point, I wouldn't be able to read that, all right? Because you know, tw my Twitter will grow. But I think because of my shadow ban, I'm always gonna have shit to engagement anyway, which means I can read everything. <laughs> that, I mean, that's just how it goes. So let's see. I, why does this person sound familiar? Uh, I don't know. Oh. Cold War, don't, oh, I thought it said Code 7, like the Tomb Fork. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. It's going to be New Order Finance. It literally just launched, I think, a couple hours ago. So, you know, I already bought, I, I bought a small bag, 135 bucks of it. So, all right, we'll check that out next. Thanks. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video, you know, blah, 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 grow the channel. Which you actually should because, you know, especially if you're in these uh, Tomb Forks or Titano Seifu Forks, the more people I know about it, the more marketing there will be, and then the project will survive, you know, that kind of thing.